What's up, everyone? How's it going? Soup77, we're back in Subnautica Below Zero. Uh, farting around with the jukebox. You gotta hook up so it's all over the place so you can hear it anywhere you go. Work it in the scanner room. Fix up the truck. Go to get something to eat. Oh yeah. Got it everywhere. We're doing pretty good here, actually. Let's stop that and take a nap. Um, all right. <clears throat> well, we're back in. And uh, if you're watching the VODs, appreciate you. Thank you very much. Uh, Showing us every what Tuesday night as you are at... Uh, ooh. I was being pulled from a logical world to a logical world, with you at the center of them all. I was dreaming. The brain processes in mysterious ways when we sleep. Does it serve a purpose? It was such disorienting and fragmented thought. Random images and sensations. No one is completely sure what it does. There are theories, but every human dreams. Many other mammals, too. Is it enjoyable? It can be. We can experience impossible joy, and also impossible terror in our dreams. Sometimes I can fly. Sometimes I call out to Sam and can't reach her. Sometimes I'm in my underwear, defending my doctoral thesis. It's a mixed bag. Your biofeedback indicates that flying is the most enjoyable dream. I therefore hope you have many more of those. Oh, how nice, Alan. Maybe for my own safety. That's kind of cool. I like that because you, <coughs> when you got, to, <laughs> when you had some like listening to the music the first time, you responded, and then I guess when you sleep the first time, you respond too. That's kind of, that's kind of cool. I like that. Um. All right. Well, can I like put water? This coffee vending machine doesn't do squat. I'm sad. Anyways, um, yeah, so, uh, Freedom is every Tuesday night at, uh, around 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash noon77, and I'd love to have you join me. Um, so, where we last left off, we had gone and tooled around, did a whole bunch of exploring, uh, checked out, uh, the, uh, the pilot with, uh, uh, where my Meta is, uh, we got this cache done. Uh, we checked out the artifact down below. There's more artifacts we need to find. We have some stuff we can do. Hmm. We've already built that, so let's unpin the recipe. We have a perimeter upgrade for the sea truck. Um, I guess we could work on some of the modules. I have um, quite a few saved up, but I do want to get... Hmm. I do want to get some more. Yeah, we have the aquarium module, which is for storing fish and collecting from the outside. The fabricator module for making stuff. The sleeper module for sleeping in. And the storage module for storing stuff. Which you could do. Uh, ooh. What are synthetic fibers again? Spiral plant clippings. I wonder where those are. I don't know. Um, Nautica below zero. Spiral plant clipping. They anyway, fibers are all in tall tubular structure, out in funnel shape. Um, plant in a sphere grow bed. Nice. Uh, deep purple vents and tree spires within a vent garden. Deep purple vents. Okay. Lily pad's crevice. All right. Where the vent garden's at? Tree spires. Is 
Lilypad Islands. It borders Lilypad Islands. Okay. And the Thermal Spires. Purple Vents. Delta Island. Okay. So we might be able to go take a look at that place and see if we can get ourselves some uh, spiral plant clippings to grow in the grow beds. Hey, Gary, how you doing? Um, let's actually get some... What does it take to make a grow bed? Two, okay. Let's make another grow bed and we'll get it primed and ready. There we go. That's all bueno. Perfect. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, grab another drink. And we'll be off uh, to go check it out. Did I bring my laser cutter? Yes. I might as well go ahead and while I'm out there, I'll check out the uh, the craft. Oh, you know what I should do? Bring some beacons with me. I think I need to take some beacons. Yeah. Let's grab some beacons first. I need to make some. Copper ore and titanium. I got some copper ore now. Make a couple beacons. I'm doing pretty well, Carrie. Doing pretty well. Uh, maybe I should... <sighs> I guess I didn't pick up some copper ore in accident. Oops. Let's, let's scootaloo around in the Scooty Puff Jr. and see if I can uh, get some more copper ore. Guess if I go over here, I think. Yeah. Some quartz is also good. There we go. If I can get like four copper, I think I'll be square. Two copper so far. Three. Ooh, some titanium from Argentine. Four. There we go. Oh. Hey, buddy. Sorry. There we go. Back inside. Back to base. Let's make some beacons, some more beacons. Is that guy seriously typing right there in there? What a butthole! No. I didn't want to get in. Thank you. It's right click, not left click. There. All right. Let's. Get some spare batteries. Always good. One. Two. Three. And four. Where do I get a power cell? Did I take it out of the thing? 
No? Hmm. Well, spare power cell then, I guess. Pretty for something. Okay, so the vents, the thermal vents are over here to the southeast. And then beyond that should be the purple vents. I hit the penlin. Oh. I'm sorry, penguin. Something down here? I can go 300 deep so I can explore. It's uh, some glacier walls, it looks like. You see whales. There are whales. I am exploring. I went southeast and then east. I'm trying to see what's down here. Let's take some mineral nodes. The glacier seems to open up a little bit. I have my defense perimeter prime just in case. It's not terribly deep still. I'm all oh, 230. I'm approaching crush depth. So let's head back. Meow. Meow. Old science lab base. Hmm. Meow. Luna. Okay, still going down a little bit, gradually. Luna, seriously? You can't.
Okay, there's a bit of creep vine around here. I still think we're fairly deep. The volcano detected nearby. Ooh. Ho! Well, I don't want to mess with him. An active volcano nearby, though. So we'll mark that for later. All right, it looks like we are approaching lily pad. There is a large anomalous mass of rock that has broken away and risen above the surrounding terrain. Large anomalous rock. Oh. Here. You came within range of data that might help with the construction of a new storage medium. You must continue to investigate. Good to know. Question is, though, how deep is it? Because I'm already pushing at, uh, pushing the boundary. Yeah, this is as far down as I can go. Okay, let's um, hop out. Um, uh, reef, no, what's it called? Uh, alien tech nearby. Or floating rock. Big floating rock. Zone. What do you think, Luna? Good? Aha! Detecting bow of an astronautical Soltrans go vessel nearby. Vessel name Mercury 2. Inoperative. Lucky me, I found a bunch of copper. Oh, I can't see Luna. Um, what's the Leviathan? Yep, it is. Uh, this is where Alan's body parts get pretty deep. Here you spoke of is where the lab is.
This is the bow of the Mercury 2. Should be a way in. Reactor rod. Uh, let's get the cutter out. Hey, synthetic fibers. Hey, synthetic fibers. saved me. The Mercury attempted an emergency takeoff and everything seemed fine. I was helping the bridge crew with the emergency takeoff since the crew is, well, was shorthanded because of everything. I heard the sound of metal tearing and for a split second, everything was tinged bright green and unbearably hot. Then I saw daylight and I was looking down at the ocean and ice. The strongest wind I've ever felt roared in my ears, ripping through the ship. People went flying out the side of the Mercury, so much screaming and chaos. I was lucky. I had just clipped into my seat anchor. Stephanos came out of nowhere, like a malaika, an angel. I felt his rough, calloused hand grasp mine with the gentlest of urgency. It felt like time slowed, he said. Cut. Gotcha. Just follow me, Ella. I don't know how. Tether to drag me to the nuclear reactor. Drag me to the nuclear reactor core. The strongest bulkhead in the ship. We hit the water and everything went black. <sighs> He's sleeping. I think he might have hit his head. I'm exhausted. The adrenaline has long since worn off and my body aches. I think I might have fractured the rib. I'm gonna shut my eyes for a bit. When I wake up, I'll figure this out. I'll save us. Ooh, man. I wonder if they got taken out by the uh, the big gun from Subnautica 1. More than likely, right? I mean, that's what I would expect. Yeah. Yes, yeah, Sonatica. Nice, Sag. Good. Okay, I'm gonna move to the bow, the rear of the ship. Drink. Well no, one, well, no one drinks actually. Okay, let's take a look around. There may be a vent. Or 
there isn't. I know there's a sealed bulkhead. Ah. Nuclear reactor. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. Let's get a puff and then we'll go in the sealed bulkhead area. Ooh, alien containment. Nice. There's a vent. My instincts are never wrong. Stephanos has always been overly cautious. He hates taking risks, which I suppose is understandable when you're in the back end of the galaxy. But no risk, no reward. Elliot finds evidence of alien architecture on a completely uncharted planet and he expects me to ignore that? Huh. Orion's belt. I would be an absolute fool. We've done some scans, and while there aren't a lot of mineral resources on this planet, there is decent biodiversity. Teams go out in the morning. There should be a significant specimen and sample hall for biopatenting, which will be split among the crew as part of the discovery clause. Let's see Stephanos and everyone else complain when they have a few more sold transgov credits in their uniform pockets. They'll learn to trust my instincts at some point. Belt, this all went sideways. This all went sideways. How could I have known that so much would go wrong? I failed my crew. No. I don't fail. I didn't get into this position by being a failure. It's this desolate land. Frigid and cursed. Between these tunneling creatures and the strange sickness that a few of the crew are showing yeah, symptoms of, we have to leave at first light tomorrow. We are prepping for a rapid takeoff. We can't take chances with the vibrations drawing the tunnelers, so we're skipping the systems check. Risky, but I have faith in myself and the crew of the Mercury. Landing this thing was practically a miracle, though. But we have to get out of here. Maybe the weapon is to keep people away. But if we leave, it'll let us go. I have to leave the quarantined crew in the cave behind. We will be back for them. But we can't risk an unknown infection spreading through the mercury. We're packing survival kits for them, but there's only enough surplus for about two weeks. I'm telling them that we will come back. But I don't think I can land here safely twice. I hate, them, but I have to leave them. But I have to leave them behind. I can't risk the entirety of the Mercury. Damn. Let's grab a puff from over here, real quick. Oh. Hell yeah! Some food and water is always nice. Hmm, this was the galley. Titanium vein. It's a lot of it's a lot of copper here. A lot of copper and titanium over here. Oh. 
Okay. Let's swing over here. Anything interesting and fun? Oh. Soul should pay me more to lead these missions. I saved the whole damn crew from destruction. Mercury 2 was nearly obliterated by an immensely powerful energy beam. I don't know any weapon system with that level of capability. The power source to get that kind of range must be, well, otherworldly. We got lucky. The energy signature is similar to some of the weaponry meant to counter pirates on mining freighters. The refraction of the beam across the atmosphere? Ryan's belt. It looked like the Northern Lights. I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nu- I fired the emergency flares and dumped water from the nuclear core. I think the heat signature confused the weapons tracking for just an instant. I managed a slight evasive maneuver, and I felt the mercury get rocked by the sonic boom as the nuclear runoff rapidly evaporated. That alone could have taken us out. Definitely asking for a pay raise. This is not what I signed up for. My days of risky missions should be behind me. Ah, but what the hell? I still got it. We need to get off this planet. I mean, the morning started off so well. I took a team of six out to find the structures from the planetary scans, and we were all in high spirits. I mean, who wouldn't be? These structures would be clues to another sentient race. <laughs> it was highly unlikely that another colony would be out this far. We were going to be in the frickin' history books. <laughs> Everything was going okay. We were a few miles from the ship when our radios picked up an actual signal. It sounded like an SOS. We got overly excited, naturally, and decided to enter the water to follow it. <sighs> that decision cost three lives. I mean, half my team, they got ripped to shreds by something. They died screaming. Alone and I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean. I'm not going back in that godforsaken ocean again. I refuse. Some of the Damn. animals on this planet, they look sick too. Weird pustules on the skin, oddly sluggish. I think we should leave. But Diana said we should stay. She thinks the bio patent payoffs would be worth it, but those families will never see their loved ones again. They don't care about no payoffs. We, we can't return the bodies. I don't care about the accolades or the history books. I just want to see Layla and the kids. Ah, oh, man. I miss the smell of my wife's hair. The kids tackling me at the door again. That's all I want. To get out of here alive. Please. Man, that is... Poor guy. Water filters machine, nice. Poor dude, seriously. Is there a third parallel processing New unit here? Synthesized. I don't know if there is. There's the other half, okay. So I think I got everything then. Um. Well, we landed safely, despite my apprehension. Diana, damned adrenaline junkie, took one of her defining risks and it paid off. Why hire me as the maintenance engineering officer if you aren't going to listen to their advice? <laughs> ah, Papa. I didn't go to school for eight years and get three degrees for nothing. I tried to convince <coughs> Diana that we don't need to stop for repairs. That's what the drift drive and the secondary propulsion system are for. Just a bit slower, but she's in charge. 
not me. On the plus side, I get to work with Yasmin. I didn't know she was such a busybody. She's been going around the whole ship giving folks a hand. So, she assigned Yasmin to me. So, she assigned Yasmin to me. She's helping me inspect and repair the thruster systems. I thought I was the most mechanically inclined person on the ship, but I think she has me beat. She can definitely teach me a thing or two, as long as I don't get too distracted by her smile. <sighs> She's got the best smile. Oh, Stefanos. What is that? Oh, it's a, it's a, um, I think it's a bul a lily pad bulb. It's like a, like the, the, the painting part of a lily pad, I think. I think. Big old whale. On their backs, nice. On their backs, nice. Aquarium module. I already got it. Aha! Uh -huh. uh oh. Get away! You're a dick. Tornado plates. All right. Well, let's um, let's drop a beacon here. Grab a puff, and then I guess I'll, uh, I gotta enter that thing, right? Blueprint synthesized. New blueprint synthesized. All right, I got the spiral things. Any cool fragments right here I can grab? Don't know. I'm 
Let's just uh, edge along over here. And take a look. Let's see if we find any cool fragments. Reaper's wine glass. Rising temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh, thermal plant. Yeah, I think I have rubies. New blueprint synthesized. Hey, Arliss, what's up? Ooh. I'm running low on air. Better get back to the ship. Oh. Binge was full. Let's head back home. Warning. 30 <laughs> seconds of oxygen remaining. Yep, I know. Let's... Let's blow this popsicle stand. And the chalice right up there. Ooh, a lead outcropping. Oh. They're little vet gardens. The little babbies. I think what I need to get, I need to find like the uh, the solar charger if I can. able to sense the location of an important artifact. I will share its coordinates so you can look into it. Got it. Signal location uploaded. Hey Arliss, if I were you, if I made five pounds of steak and, and I was the only one eating it, uh, I would probably have a steak and then save the rest for later, cut it thin, make steak sandwiches the next day. Perfect. With a bit of mayo and some garlic. Get out of here. Yeah, the little babby, little babby gardens. Mmm, stir fry with egg. Yeah. Drop it in some top ramen. Some beef top ramen. All right, let us dock. Welcome aboard. Captain. Recharge. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's uh There it goes. Goody Puff Jr. is all fixed up.
Let's get this guy. Recharge. Doot, doot, doot. Okay, we got some rubies. Yeah, see, I already have a bunch of rubies. I got synthetic fibers, finally. And this reactor rod. Oh, some wiring kit and that. Let's go and plant our uh, clippings. There we go. We got spiral plants now planted. Now, what did I want to make? I wanted to make. <laughs> Enameled glass, which is glass, lead, and diamond. Glass, lead, diamond. Baked tostadas. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, sure, Sag, what's tostadas? Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, sure, Sag, what's what's up? Oh, I need a modification station, don't I? Let's build it. Computer chip, titanium, lead, diamond. Oh, I need more lead. Okay. We'll grab. Looking for lead deposits. There's one. Root shark coming to say hello. Sea trucks. Two lead. Fine copper, I'll take it. Might as well. Warning. Thirty Warning. Thirty seconds of oxygen remaining. Okay, up I go. Why shouldn't you write with a broken pencil? That's pointless. Ha ha. It's funny. Uh, are you aluminum brass? No, I don't mind aluminum brass. It's just regular brass I have an issue with. Because it's a jerk. Alright. Let's make... What do I need? Uh, computer chip, diamond, and lead. So I need that. No wiring? No. Gold. Come 
Computer chip requires what again? Copper wire, gold, and table coral samples, yes. <clears throat> there we go. Uh, because it is. And a diamond. Okay. Mod station, here we go. Thermal blade. Handy. All right, so. Reinforced dive suit <coughs> is good. Hmm. Synthetic fibers, diamonds, titanium. I don't have another additional diamond. Two rubies, a synthetic fiber, and a death one mark upgrade. Here we are. Oh, right, it's a here. Bam. Now, bam. Now, I can go 650 meters deep. Whoo! Oh, that's deep. That is super deep. Yoink. 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 Oh, I know what that'll do. So we're looking pretty good in here, right? <clears throat> what is the, um... Oh, two plus two ingots. Water filtration machine. Okay. What I'm going to do, we're going to build a multipurpose room on top of the one we have. Do the plants drag into your mouth? Yes, I have. Down below, actually. Look at that. How's that for an idea? Right. And then... Do that. Plant still growing. Welcome they called. Uh, I don't recall actually. A second. 
titanium. All right. So now I think what I can do is what do I need for this again. Lithium and titanium. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. And then, what is this, two each? Okay. Here's what I want to do. We need another one of these. Multiple we'll rooms underneath. <coughs> V2. Then put another reinforcement, on, and then put another reinforcement on this bad boy to make sure we have plenty of space. Come down here. Just have a deep reinfor uh, room, right? So pop in, climb down. In, climb down. This is the bottom. So now we need glass and titanium. I'm gonna make a three high, sweet room. <clears throat> hey, Chevney, what's up? <clears throat> God, so much glass. I have ten glass. <laughs> down and down. Oh, damn. Not oh, damn. Not a titanium. Where to go sleep? Oh man. Damn it. Hydrothermal vents right here, so we could could potentially plonk down a uh, thing. Here as well. 
open lava spawn. Yeah, Tony, you might want to consider sleeping. Okay. Fire. Piece of dinner today, nice. I've always found Pizza Hut to be particularly greasy. Well, Tony, let's, you know, kind of settle in. Settle in and relax, my friend. No worries. Let's get some water. Okay, so we're gonna go down here, down to there, down to there. An aquarium just for looks, or your own personal sushi factory. You decide. All right. So now the question is, to build another one for the water filtration machine. If I do, I need more. Hmm. Okay. So I'll need three for this, two for a pipe, and so five. We need five more titanium. Come on, where are you? Five. All right. Got it. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Welcome aboard, Captain. I don't know if I can plant table coral in the in the garden, can I? 
it only gives you one piece. Oh, can I not build there? I don't know if I can build there. No, I can't. That, that works. Kind of cuts into my whole Vista thing, but you know what? You know what? You know what? way into here and this is where I rest from relax And look, we can even look down and see how the fishes are doing. Didn't think so. Okay. Uh, so now. Yeah, the other space. Let's go grab some of the uh, the eggs we found. They're back over here.
You know, I will try. Uh, let's. I'll I'll try uh, one of the. Um, things. Uh, what time is it? It's seven nineteen p.m. right now. One of the coral. Yeah, I got two space. Yeah, table coral. I'll try growing it. I don't hold any hope, really, but it is an experiment, at least. It won't go. I can't grow table coral. All right, we're going to drop. Let's put the stuff away. Ooh. Might as well make some uh, copper wire. And some wiring kit. Spare power cell. Uh, put that in there. Another little aquarium. So, the cool thing with the aquarium, with the alien containment, if you get a sufficient population of fish in there, they will breed, and they will keep breeding. And that means that there is an endless supply of food and water right there. Plus, of course, filtration machine. Uh, so we'll have plenty uh, to go on. I might as well go ahead and pop the... Oh, I can't drop it. I can't drop it in there. Damn. Oh, well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Grab a creep vine and a creep vine and a cluster. I think I have enough space for this. Oh, okay. A ribbon plant there too, why not? Oh no, yeah, make it pretty. Make it pretty, you know?
Um, okie dokie. I've been plants all done. I'm gonna eat this creep vine sample. We got some salt. Mm-mm, salt. Um, alright, well, I have uh, enough space. It is 724 right now, so let's go ahead and do a little more exploring. Um, I think I could go down into... Um, I'm wondering if I should go down. I'm gonna replace the beacon at the dock. The beacon at the dock. Because... You know, you never know. But I think I want to go down to the copper mining site and see if I can and unlock the uh, the prawn suit. over here, right? Ah, there it is. Okay, so let's grab a beacon. This is gonna be uh, Delta Island Dock. Some trouble. It's gone. Where did it go? You found some trouble somewhere in the deep twisty bridges and decided to jettison modules? Yeah, I had to jettison a module. I got free, went back for it. It was just gone. And you think someone stole it? Or something. I didn't lose it, that's for sure. I'm careful with my tools. I'm sure you are, but you have to admit there have been a lot of sea truck accidents. And they're rather expensive. You want to follow me on a few runs tomorrow? See what it's like? Conditions are way harsher than anything I ever imagined. I don't know if you could really understand it from inside your base. That won't be necessary. Thanks for your time. I'll write it up as an accident. Welcome aboard, Captain. <laughs> Frickin' Fred. God. The guy can't get a break. I love how Emmanuel immediately backed off as soon as uh, as soon as Fred mentioned, "Hey, you, you want to come with me? Want to see what's like?" Uh, I don't have the carriage upgrade for the the the, 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 the dock module. Um, all I have is the uh, I have the other stuff, but I don't have the docking module. Yeah, it's two out of three. Yeah, hate Manny. Manny. Hmm. Storage mod might be good, though. Manu. Call me Manu. It's like, please, call me Manu. Even though I'm a gigantic turd. Let's drink some water. How's my fish doing? Good, they're growing. Doing? Good, they're growing. The kelp's growing nicely too, as well as the violet bow and everything else. Excellent. Oh, I think I see a baby peeper. There's a baby peeper down there, and a baby 
maybe a little little, little, little bladder fish. Adorable. Totes of dorbs. All right. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yes. Wait, can I even get that? <clears throat> Which lead do I have? Three. Wiring kit. No titanium. Wait, did I make a titanium block on it? I did! Ho 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 ho! This means I can make titanium plasteel ingot! And... Bam! And, uh... Just a bam! Their storage module. Okay. Also, computer chip. Computer chip. that. So now I need to go find some more lead. Look at him grow. I think the ants are doing pretty good too. Okay. Actually, let's, let's go aboard the truck. Whoops. Sure done that. <laughs> Suck on that. We're gonna scan any friends we find because we need the titanium. Also, table coral's good. Any titanium I can find. Over there. Yeah, 
And of course, any lead I can find, too, while I'm at it. Arctic ray egg and pinacarid egg. Oh, the egg's hatched. Not quite what I want to be. I think this is probably the last one I need. Yeah, there we go. I got... Oh yeah, I'm full. A bunch of lead. Up I go! I got five lead. That should be plenty. hitting the dock and then we're gonna go grab our module and uh, bring it down here one of the cooler aspects of the sea truck being able to pilot the store the uh, modules around pretty bunch of titanium bunch of titanium and some silver and some lead and some quartz okay let's go make our second module Fabricator, right? Yeah. Here we go. Meow. Meow. All right. And now we take the Squeaky Puff Jr. Oh, all the way around. And did. Hell yeah. We can fabricate everything we need. 
plus sea truck upgrades. We have a st little storage here, little storage there, little storage there, little storage there, storage locker there, storage locker there. And we have a thing we can do to disengage the, uh, the thing. I am sad though. Earlier in the thing, you had a, like a backup camera for the sea truck, and you, so you could see behind you. I guess they got rid of that. It's kind of sad. <clears throat> Alrighty, let's head over to the copper mining site and uh, see what we can find. might need to make more solar panels, I think. Or a better uh, power generator. For the base. Okay, if I remember correctly, the copper mining site should be over here. Yeah. Here it is. Okay, let's uh, do a quick repair. go Down we go into the borehole with the rock lobsters. Rock lobsters? I bet we're probably able to find like ruby and diamond down here too, right? Oh, he angry. Man, there's just a lot of stuff down here. 
Wreckage confirmed. The prawn suit. Drill arm. It's a puff. Uh, do, 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 do. Power cell. Power cell. Fragment. Oh, hey, Parvin. Can I get you to sign off here? What is all this? I don't know. Some kind of measuring equipment? Lil said she'd send someone over to set it up later. Ah, alien science nonsense. I wouldn't say that. You should ask her to show you some of her findings. It's pretty interesting stuff. There might really be someone down there. You ask me. The scientists have too much control over here. What? I'm serious. Look around you. This mining facility extracts every mineral your scientists use to make their equipment. Their bases, their scanners, even your little sea trucks. I wouldn't call them little. Do you know the name of a single person who works down here? Well, I know you, Parvin. Ah. Tell Lillian she's wasting her time. There's nothing down here but workers, and we already know we don't spark her curiosity. Wow, Parvin's a real... real gem, huh? Did I get... Did I get... Not yet. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I know. I need air. In a bad way. It's good on finding diamonds, though. That's nice. If I bounce back and forth between those two air bubbles, will it be enough to to heal to full, or to get all my air? It just might be. Yeah. Give me a puff. Give me a puff. Give me a puff. Thank you. There's one more prawn suit down here. Lamp. New blueprint synthesized. Lamp. New blueprint synthesized. Synthesized. 
Okay, let's go grab the puff of air over here, then take a look at the artifact and head back. Actually, let's take a look at the artifact now. Might as well. <laughs> Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. I have collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. Signal location uploaded to PDA. A body cache. Oh, when you Okay, I think I'm all set down here for now, but I definitely will need to come back here with a prawn suit and mine some of this stuff. Function. How do humans Answer. function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It hmm. is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. Hey, Bushley. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. Oh. Um, alright. Well, we got some good stuff. We got some titanium, we got some more diamonds and rubies. It's always handy. Oh, I forgot to add. Uh, I need to put down a beacon. Up a mining site. All right, let's take a look at some of these these laws I picked up. Um, let's see, mining site delivery. Got that. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, got that already. I've heard recent voice recordings which comes up beam, uh, which was passing nearby went to their SOS. Uh, which was passing nearby, went to their SOS. Well, the no hey, Altera, where's the soup over here? Looked like they took survivors. Looking in for a better look. Well, the survivors have not yet known of the true state of the ship. is known that she's landed in large, holy, largely intact on planet 4546B. It's while the Earth is largely waterbound, it is though, uh, thought the planet was a breathable atmosphere and hosts have been raised all around. A uh, five-seater cargo vessel insufficient to evacuate the crew or cargo but enough, perhaps in a, let's see. Almost delayed transmissions to the region of space. In the meantime, Altera is working on a ver every possible solution, including an innovative idea to transmit the blueprints for a purpose-built rocket, which could be constructed using materials out from the Aurora planet itself. Uh, planet shares rose, nice. Uh, Ion signature on the edge of Altera's space has scientists baffled and a similar echo detected around the time of Aurora's crash landing. To be connected, let's see. Uh, field under the fire is usable to release this full data in the Aurora incident and recent in indications of sources and not revising the list of expected casualties without revealing where this information is coming from. Now, months since the summit went quiet, no information, salvage teams continue their long journey to 4546B. Ah. Okay. Vital Good signs stabilizing. Alright, let's get the 
the hell out of here. Oh, but is there stuff down here? Things I could do? Things I could do? Ore veins? No? Let's take the Scooty Puff Jr. back home, I think. Or rather... Big floating rock zone. I think we might be able to go deep enough. 650? Hello, Chilicerate. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah, I thought so. He's running away. Like a weird baby! This way. And now we just go down. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component. I strongly sense my people's technology nearby. A body component is near. Let's grab some of this stuff. Flowering spore. Hey, benzene! Alright, let's put this away. Uh, I want to put crystals and stuff in here. This will be minerals and that. And we're gonna put table coral in there and also these guys, flowering spores in there. Cotton mushrooms? These guys? Yeah, suck a butt.
continent enemy. Alright, I'll grab a whole bunch. I'm sure I can plant some. Alright, let's go find... Signature is down below. Signature is down below. Signature is down below. So... Let's go this way. What's here? What's all this? Ancient ornamental plant. Uh, slow metabolism, carbon dating, plant cell engagement is known as transdifferentiation, alters the state of cells and transforms a new cell that over time. Tinnitus replaces any poor biological material and potentially live for incredibly long periods of time. No structure in plant cellular biology and intentional nature of display, among other artifacts, just the architect's design and cultivate this plant for some kind of aesthetic or cultural purpose we can only speculate about. Please. It's like a botanical garden. Oh. This skeleton is fully dense, able to handle heavy forces. A good friend for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. Is this place another sort of sanctuary? It's peaceful. Beautiful, even. As the bacterium spread, the continuation of life became uncertain. This is a place to reflect. I think I understand. A place to reflect. Yeah. Where they come to die. All right. Well, um, I don't know if there's anything more we need down here. We got the shrooms. That's a gravity plant. A squid shark just came out of the water. The ground. Should I get more benzene things? These floral spores? Yeah, I might as well. Stock up all I can.
Grand Continent and Enemy. Let's exchange large egg. Find a larva, which the rest of the little fires touch the floor. Okay, cool. Kind of pretty down here. Is there more down here? I don't think there is. There we are. All right, let's go, uh, Ascend, and then I think I'm going to wrap it up. Man, things are going good. We are doing well. Need to find that other piece of uh, of ship. I think it's to the north. The Zenit of Vulcan we can check out too. Ah, oh, here it is. Just like just to kick it out. To kick it out. Let's get uh, our laser cutter equipped. And we're gonna put this right here. Let me, uh, little ship fragment. Or so. What? Cut it open. Seek fluid intake. Bam. I just need to build the test override module. Then I can disable that satellite tower. Oh. There's, a uh, There's debris down there. 
Hell yeah. Didn't think so. Let's hope. Alrighty. Just the tube. Okay, well, that's that. We got ourselves uh, everything we need. Looks like. Uh, so, um, real quick, I want to say thank you very much if you're watching the VOD. Appreciate you very much. Uh, be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, let's do that kind of thing. Um, also, I stream this on Tuesdays at five, 6 o'clock p.m. Pacific time on twitch.tv slash snoop787. Love to see you, and he would appreciate having you drop by. So, thank you very much. Bye bye I want to give a special shout-out to my patrons for their support, including Firetiger1986, Speedplays, StealthKeo, SirTaz13, Deathboy, NinjaPunkJess, Beautiful. Chimney97, Kevin R1999, Craftstar, Rogue Deity, Psionics, IG Scar, and Tatiana, and everyone else who supports me, you all are amazing.